Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine or a makeup look that I would do every day. And I pretty much do this makeup look every day, so that's just what I'm going to be doing. And yeah. So the first thing I like to do with my makeup is take my Benefit professional primer and just put that on my face I guess I just like to rub it in with my hands and just make sure I got it in there next I like to take my eyebrow brush and just like brush out so to brush on my eyebrows, I take my bangs out of my face and just brush them out to a point where I'm happy with them. It's not like a big thing I do, it's just a small thing I do to make it easier to fill in my eyebrows and then put my eyebrow gel on. Next, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f primer, this e.l.f. thing I have, that's what I'm going to be taking next, and take a brush with it. So to do this, I just follow my natural eyebrow and just put it where my eyebrows are not, kind of thing, I guess. It's not like magic or anything, it just kind of gets my eyebrows looking a little neater and a little bit better, I guess nothing too big in the grand scheme of what I'm doing but it does help. Next I'm taking my Benefit Gimme Brow thing and just putting that on my eyebrows again. Honestly this one the picture ran off so I'm not even gonna bother showing you the bottle just because the picture is gone so you can't even use it for reference. I don't know, but I just put that on my eyebrows. Sometimes it gets a little messy, but I fix that later with concealer, I guess. So it's not the end of the world. I don't know. I got a new camera and I'm really liking it, so I'm kind of happy that I get to use my new camera. Although you guys won't see this for like a week because I already have my video scheduled to upload just because I like to do that in case I can't make a video. Next I'm going to take my concealer on here. I have concealer right here but I'm going to take a brush and just outline my eyebrows kinda with the concealer. Once I do that, I like to just take my fingers and blend it into my face, I guess. That's what I do. I just blend it into my face. And I got concealer on this eyebrow, so it looks really bad, but we're just gonna deal with it. Next, I like to take my Benefit High Beam. It just looks like that, and I have a bigger one in this smaller one, so we're just using this one. I like to use this by putting it on my face, just in random spots, like on my cheeks, on my nose. This one's like dead, so it's not getting much out. And then I also like to use my fingers to blend this in. Once I've done that, I like to take my Maybelline Fit Me Con 
not concealer. Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and just put that on my face. So I cannot get anything out of here, so we're just gonna put on what it gave me and just blend it in as much as possible because it's I completed my foundation and there's none left, which really sucks because I like my foundation, <laughs> but I need some of it just to like blend out my highlighter I just put on my face. Next I take my Cover FX pressed foundation or like powder foundation, whatever it's called, but it's like that. And I'm going to take that and put it on my face with a brush. I don't like to use this brush. It says it's called a powder brush, so I'm actually using a brush for the right thing for once because all my brushes I do not use for the right thing and I don't care because that's how I like to use them and everyone's just got to deal with it, I guess. Next, I'm going to take my NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette and it's the colorful one. I'm going to be using this color, this color, and this color. Taking my eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to take the bright pink color and put that on my eyes. I like this color, so it's, it's good, I guess. I don't know. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Sometimes I like to just touch it up and add more color because sometimes I it looks uneven on the eyes. Like it looks like one has more than the other. So I like to make it so it doesn't look like that. And then I'm going to take the light purple and put that not all the way around my eyes, but like on most of my eye. And then I take the dark purple and blend that on the very outer corner of my eye on both eyes, of course. Just like so. And then, finish it off, I take the dark purple go underneath my eyes and don't get it like too far under your eyes just like where your eye crease is but on the bottom so I'm actually going to take one of these wet and wild little single thingies with a brush and just like pack it on there And just put it on the inner corner of my eye. Just because, why not? And I do this sometimes, so we're gonna do it today. Next, I'm gonna take this little eyeliner pencil. Oh, my phone buzzed. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take it, and it's the white one, so I'm gonna just go on my waterline and create white waterline where then your eyes look bigger than they actually are. So, that's what I'm doing, I guess. Next, I'm gonna take this super fine Essence eyeliner pen. I love this eyeliner pen just because it works quite well but I am very bad at eyeliner. I used to be really good at it, but now I'm not. So I use tape to do my eyeliner just because I used to be good at it and I don't wanna look like I suck at it anymore, so. So I got the tape on my eyes like so and I'm gonna do my eyeliner. So first for my eyeliner, I like to do just the top part. Uh, you're not going to be able to see me, are you? So 
So I did the eye part. Oh, I'm sticking up my middle finger. <laughs> but uh, now I'm gonna just do the wing part. So it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's still pretty shitty and I'm just going to ignore that and keep on going. The next product I like to use is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I like this one because, I don't know, it it's just really good. So I just take it and put it on my upper lashes and just keep on going and then I do it on the other eye I'm not too good at mascara to be honest which is why I use false eyelashes just because I suck at this Once I do that, I like to do my bottom lashes and just get them real good. My face when I do mascara is horrible. I would not want to look at that. And then obviously I do the other eye for my bottom lashes. Okay, so I got my mascara on. I really don't know what these false lashes are, but these are the ones I use, and they're pretty good. So, I'm going to take those, and then I'm going to take my, whatever this is. So then I'm going to take whatever this is, it's like this eyelash glue, and put it on my eyelashes. So to put on my eyelashes, I literally just like... And if it goes bad, then I'm really sad. That rhymed. But it's true. When they look bad, I get really sad. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now we're gonna do this eye. This eye's always like 10 times harder. Okay, so I got my false eyelashes on. Okay, what is it focusing on? Um, yeah, I put my put my false eyelashes on. Next, I take my Too Faced uh, bronzer and just open it up. I just open it up and put it on my face. So I like to use this brush. It's called Angled Blush Brush. I use it not for blush. No blush. I like to just hardcore. That's what I do. I do this pretty hardcore because it's quicker and easier. And just put that where it should go. Ow, I bit my lip piercing. <laughs> oh, that hurt. And then I like to put it up here. And then I like to put it on my nose. And then I like to put it under my lip. So next I like to take this blush. It's the Essence blush. And it and I guess it works really well for me. And it was like a dollar, so I like cheap things, and if they work good and they're cheap, I'm gonna keep buying it. So I just put that, I put lots of blush on. You wanna make it look like you're in the snow and you're freezing, like minus 50 weather, cause that's how cold it gets here. Because I live in Saskatchewan and it's always cold. 
Except in the summer, it gets really hot. It gets really, really hot, and I don't know why. I prefer cold over hot, to be honest. Just because, I don't know, I guess I can become warm when I'm cold because there's blankets. But you can't just like get naked in the middle street because it's hot. And I don't think I want to get naked in the middle of the street because it's hot. Anyways, so I guess it's a little bit of a problem there. So next I'm taking my e.l.f. Focus. My e.l.f. jelly highlighter. And I guess I'm gonna just like stick that on places you'd highlight. Particularly my cheekbones and I really wish I had a beauty blender because my dog that we used to have we have lots of dogs but like we used to have this one dog and she ate my beauty blender and I was really upset because I got it for my birthday and I wanted a beauty blender and then my dog ate it which was really frustrating. And then I like to put it on my nose, just down the center of my nose and on the top part of my nose, not the top, the bottom, I guess. When you do this, it kind of looks like a penis and <laughs> I laugh at myself half the time. I'm like, oh, there's a penis on my face. That's teen humor for ya, I guess. Teens are funny. Because I am funny and I'm a teen, so therefore all teens are funny. And that is called a stereotype. And then I like to put it on my forehead. I don't know why. I guess I think I learned that from like beauty gurus. They just like put it on their forehead and like their T-zone. And that is what I do now. And I guess I just learned from them. So now I can move my bangs back to my face, I guess. My hands are so dirty, they're full of makeup, and it's really disgusting. Next, I'm taking my Essence Eyeliner Pen in brown. Not black this time, but brown. And we're gonna create some fake freckles, which I'm really bad at, so do not judge me for that. I have to like concentrate really hard when I do this. And then I just like. Then... See, it looks so bad. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I think I'm doing everything wrong. So the mind blowing step of the day is taking this thing I got from Amazon and it was really cheap, so I love this thing though. It took a month to get to my house because of quarantine, but it was worth it. So it's this like eyeliner stamp. It's so cool. Will it focus? Look at that, it's a star. It's so exciting, but I like to go one, two, three, one, two, three. And now I have stars on my face. Isn't that so exciting? It made me really excited when I put it on. I was like, ah, I'm an e-girl. <laughs> and it was just really exciting. Okay, for the actual last step, I take my Stila. Will it focus? It will. So my Stila lip gloss. And I guess I can't really talk while I put lip gloss on. Well, maybe I can, no. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to talk when you have lip gloss going on, no? But I like this lip gloss because it's pretty. And so I put the lip gloss on and basically I really do not like the way it looks as soon as I put it on. So I take toilet paper and kind of take it off, but not all of it, so it's still tinted. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, 
like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, but you definitely do not have to. It is just something that I appreciate and give thanks to you for actually doing so. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. So if you just want to see me again, just hit the subscribe button and join my little YouTube family. But if you don't want to do that, I totally understand. There's some people on YouTube that I like, but I just don't want to subscribe to. And yeah, that's all I really have to say. So I'm just gonna go and peace out on you guys. Bye guys.